the U.S. focus was to pivot toward China and pivot toward Asia. But what we're seeing now, ironically, and, and this is a classic example of U.S. foreign policy and foreign interventionism, we're seeing the U.S. foreign policy action achieving the exact opposite of what its stated goal is. Its stated goal is to contain China, to, to deal with China, to manage China, and above all, to keep China and Russia from developing a relationship closer than it already is. In fact, our policy is having the exact opposite effect. Obviously, China is not cheering Russia on, but there certainly is a tacit approval or a tacit understanding of the existential threat posed to Russia by a U.S.-backed Ukraine. So Russia is being, Russia and China are being pushed together by U.S. policy, not pulled apart, which is the U.S. policy goal. And of course, the same is true with Iran and Russia. They've developed a relationship primarily because of U.S. interventionism in Syria and elsewhere and long-held U.S. hatred and anti-Iran policy. The effect of U.S. foreign policy is the exact opposite of what's stated purposes.